Hello friends, this is my failure story and the very intention here is to share with you a slice of my life where I had failed but the same failure when it was redirected to the right approach paved way for me for my growth and success. This happened many years ago, almost I guess nine years ago while at that time I used to work as a freelancer. Completely confused because prior to being a freelancer, I used to work for the top-notch corporates in my town and I worked there for close to around 13 plus years with a lot of good performances, accolades, rewards and success. And I have my own share of failures even there as well, which I'll share with you in some other session and some other time. Today, I wanna to talk to you about this specific event that happened and changed my life forever. So while I was working as a freelancer and I was not really uh, very satisfied with the kind of work I was doing, therefore I was freelancing and at the same time, simultaneously looking for a job. Unfortunately, I couldn't get through anywhere. But since I had a, a solid experience and a good source of network, I was able to get through one of the top IT giant firm in my city, and I was almost selected into it. But then the last day where I was supposed to show up and meet the HR and just finish up my, the last formality, so to say, I just ran away from that interview. Can you believe this? I ran away, I literally ran away. I was in the reception area and it was like one of the most difficult uh, times that I was going through and while I waited for my turn in the reception area, all of a sudden, something enveloped me as if I felt like a stranger. And something inside me said that this is not what I wanted to do. I knew I, if I get the job, I had to go with it. So I thought the best way out here is to just run away. And I exactly did that. Just before my, it was my turn to turn up and, and close the formalities, I just ran away from the scene. And perhaps they may have written my candidature as a no-show. This is my journey of self. Something that got triggered by a job interview you could see it here. Uh, now, you must be wondering, when I came so close to a job in one of the top IT giant firm, in one of the best lucrative role, I still ran away from it. Because on the surface, it was just a job role. But the person that I was, the one who was getting into that job, or to, I would say, going to execute the work, the tasks, the responsibilities, I was not prepared for it. And that was, this interview actually was just the trigger point. There was a lot beneath, inside, going on with me in my life, which obviously the job interviewer, neither the panel or the HR or anyone understood. So as an individual, I appeared to them as one of uh, in my finest attire, in my finest performances. And they just loved the way I appeared in the interview, gave my answers, or and I got selected. But I was just not there. Deep down, I was anxious, depressed, stressed out. The worst part of that phase of my life was I had actually lost trust in my, when I write this here, KSA, is my knowledge, skills, and abilities. In fact, my overall potential, I just forgot what is it that I was looking for, where I was good at and where I was not. I was like a confused soul. 
completely freaking out and just don't know where I was headed. So here, the only thing that I sought was to understand what's wrong with me. What is it that I'm in search of? And why is it that I'm behaving this way? Later on, like while I left that interview midway and I came out, I was a no show. Weeks passed by and there's no legal punishment for not uh, being on time or, or not showing up for an interview. It's just that you just lose your job. So I just lost that opportunity. But a few weeks later, from my anxious, depressed and stressed mode, I actually came to a mode wherein I was no longer depressed or anxious. However, I was still low with confidence. I still had no trust in my knowledge, skills and abilities and in my overall potential. So this arrows, this is this represent my confused state. I don't know this way I should go or that way. I had no guilt or regret of what I just lost on. In fact, I was all the more confused of why is it that even the most lucrative job is not what I really wanted to do. Then what is it that I'm seeking? So much so that I'm just running away from things that are coming to me. And here's where I thought I should um, do something on my own. But since I had no idea and clue of what I should be doing, I went into this mode. This is a very typical of any one of us going through a problem where we don't really understand what exactly it is. We start looking for some kind of hacks or shortcuts which could help us find a way out. And I did the same thing. So I was just trying to apply a first aid to a deep wound that I was holding. And eventually I ended up repeating the same errors. Then life moved on. I regained some of my confidence, but still three years later, this was the time when I was actually in the same state for almost, almost three years just doing a job here and there. I don't really know what I want to do. I would earn, but sporadically. So working in top MNCs, multinationals with a six figure compensation, being a compensation expert as well, I was now reduced to not even a freelancer. With someone who's so crazily confused in her head that I just don't know what I'm doing. But yes, I was seeking a shortcut. Shortcut on, but somehow I should figure out what is it that I'm seeking or um, a way through which I should get to my, to the role that I want. But the most interesting part was I had no clarity of what is that the role I want. And I would just simply go on applying to jobs or, or attending interviews or trying to take a freelance more projects so that I just get the money coming in. With my own trial and error methods, to some extent, I was able to resolve my stress. I did yoga. I joined the yoga classes. I, I did meditation, which did help me. But they were like the the short-term ways of finding a way out i i would even read several of self-development books listen to motivational videos try and understand and make sense of things but then when i thought and i experienced that i was going nowhere it was just a, a trial and error and repeating the same error again and again is when i decided that i need to find a permanent solution. And I just can't go on like this for years and years and years. So I decided to hire help. Seven years later, which was like, I almost had three coaches for myself I hired. I invested a chunk of my savings in just having a life coach for myself. And here I am today, while I speak with you, running an organization of my own, serving hundreds of people 
to find their clarity and direction and build their resilience. Friends, what I just share with you, along with my failure story, basis on which I have created my signature coaching program is called the Journey of Self. Now, this program may have the traces of my own suffering, failures, and how I learned the hard way. But along that, there's an additional expertise of neuroscience, which I have included in my program. And therefore, I share this slide with you to let you know and make you aware of the very foundation on which the journey of self stands on. When we go through personal crisis and when we try to seek a solution of it, there are two ways we can find a way out. One is the very immediate one that we could do immediately to somehow find a solution to the problem we are going through. But other than that, just like me and with my own experience, as I just shared, finding the ability to deal with adversities, stress, traumas, grief, pain, and many other challenges of life that comes to us in different shades and colors of personal crisis, we need to have a, a long-term, deep, transformative work that we need to invest in to build that muscle of resilience. And that's the foundation of the journey of self, which is built on these five things. These are the domains of our life mental, physical, emotional, social, and spiritual. So anytime who, whoever would enroll with me for this program, the first thing I would do is to check the assessment. Where do they stand on these five domains of life? And within each domain, then we dip, deep dive and we find a way out. When I say mental, it's more about your overall mental health and well-being which includes the thoughts, the belief systems, the behaviors that stem out of it. When I say physical, it's more of the body part, the, our overall physical being, and how stress had, stress usually have a very deep impact when we go through personal crisis, even though we may not realize it, but whatever our body experience in form of a stress which we gather it from our mind our beliefs every cell of our body is impacted in it while i speak with you i also would like to let you know that my my bouts of vertigo anxiety and depression were part of my own not so better ways of managing my crisis so the body, as Dr. Bessel says, the body keeps the score. And in my program, I would teach you techniques where it's a it's a very holistic program, which will not just cater to the mental well, uh, well-being, but also to the physical one. But here's it's not really about the diet or, or things uh, related to that, but it's more of how you could remove the trauma from your nervous system. Then comes the emotional, social, and spiritual part. Within these three, in our program, you will go through various methods and techniques to regulate your emotional part, specifically that small almond-shaped amygdala in our brain, which hijacks and rules our emotional self. In times of crisis, it has a different behavior, while other times it's in a different mode and how we could really regulate that part so that both your body and mind enjoy a holistic well-being. Then comes the social part here. When we go through a difficult time, many researchers have claimed and proven that having a solid support system can always make us you know, fall back on that support system when we go through a difficult time. 
in our program we will teach you the basics of how you relate to others which actually begins with yourself because as per the latest data within the neuroscience our self is the most neglected part of us and we cannot really offer anyone anything else unless we first give that to our own self so here's where you would learn various methods of self care and self compassion then comes the spiritual part which is where you find the meaning and purpose and learn the right way of doing so this is the journey of self uh as just a slice and a summary of when you enroll in, into it this is how we would go through it i've divided it into phases where we begin from the the present challenge at hand to where we end up with helping you build that ability to flex to adapt to obstacles that life continuously present us with because dealing with with life is not um, it's not a one time job this is what you need to learn so that you become more resilient and in your resiliency you find clarity and direction now one addition i have done here is based on my experience i've divided this program into a short term one and a long term one a short term program is just for 5 weeks and this is for those who basically uh, may want to just find a solution to a current setback or crisis which can be to do with their specifically to do with their career or with their relationships or their self and or any other sudden change that they're experiencing finding themselves stuck they just don't know what to do or to arrive at a decision or to to learn to let go it could be anything so this short term program is for those for a one specific problem we may take up and find a way out of it the long term is for is for those who are not only interested in just creating a finding a solution but also building their their self into a more resilient in a person now resiliency is a is a life skill you cannot be overnight resilient you just cannot uh, simply learn some tricks and tactics as i used to think many years ago when i share with you that example it's a it's a combination of many things you need to first understand in context with your own individual self so this seven month program will be a very intense one where you as an individual with your own share of experiences of your life would understand what really are the factors that has that are your strengths that you could leverage on the weaknesses which we can learn to let go the various other things related to yourself your mind your body your past your life your career your relationships which overall while you learn and practice learn and practice toward the end of the 7th month you are a completely transformative person with fresh perspectives with enough armor for you to deal with stress in a more effective way that's my promise to you so here's the here's what happens when you apply and enroll with me i call this the triple c coach consultation call so if you're interested to explore this with me the first thing you do is you have the link given in the description box and you'll find it also on my website you fill in the application form it's actually a google survey form with some set of questions now this questions basically is to help me your coach understand how best can i be of help to you so this is the very idea here is to help you and i can help you best only when i understand and get an idea of what kind of help you need so the application form has set of questions you need to answer submit 
Based on the details you have shared, your call is scheduled by me and the call is for a 60 to a 90 minute, it can vary in, in time depending on our discussion, which then within the call, you will be put across to a specific methodology that I have that I have designed and created, helping you and helping me. How it helps you is it helps you experience how life coaching works and it helps me check whether I'm the right coach for you because I believe I want to really add that value to the trust you repose in me when you sign up with me. So I usually check fitment and at times there could be issues where are beyond my scope of work. And I may just redirect you to the right resource because I think each one of us deserve the best. So not necessarily that coaching is the right answer for you. So I may redirect you, but if everything goes well, you enroll and we start. Here's the resource referral. Basically, this is where um, I was talking about when the fitment is not uh, where we realize that the person is not the right fitment. And I may just give you a resource to refer to which can be of more help than me as your coach otherwise we enroll and then from this we one second from the resource referral this is when when there is no fitment found and otherwise it's enrollment and from here the final step here is the coaching journey your journey of self begins here thank you and I look forward to having a quick conversation with you. Thank you.